part 2 of equation of a state line here in this video we will learn from question number 5 to 8 in part 1 I was already solved from question number 1 to 4 let's take a start here you can see here first question find the slope we have to find out slope and y intercept of the state line having equation this we have a equation we have to find out slope as well as y intercept so let's take a start here what is the equation here given equation is we can write here 2x plus 3y is equal to 15 and we have to convert this in the form of y is equal to mx plus c so 3y is equal to this 2x we have to take to the right side we have to write minus 2x plus 15 when you change the places we have to change the sign also this 2x is positive when you take to the right side we have to write minus 2x and y is equal to we have to divide by 3 minus 2 by 3x plus 15 by 3 after this y is equal to we can write minus 2 by 3 x plus 3 5 is 15 hope you understand up to here this equation 1 now we have to compare comparing equation 1 with y is equal to mx plus c we get m means slope so slope m is equal to what is here in the place of m you can see here minus 2 by 3 x x plus plus in the place of 5 what is here c so m is equal to in the place of m what is here minus 2 by 3 so we have to write minus 2 by 3 so slope is equal to minus 2 by 3 similarly y intercept we have to find out y intercept means c in the place of c what is here c is equal to 5 so y intercept is equal to 5 hope you understand this question number 5 number 1 now look at this number 2 we have to do in same process first of all we have to find out the value of y number 2 what is the equation given equation is we have x minus root under 3y is equal to 3 root under 5 what we have to do we have to find out the value of y then only we have to compare so here we have to find out value of y but y is negative so we, first of all we have to make it positive so we have to take to the right side and 3 root y we have to take left side so we can write x minus this 3 root y we have to write 3 root under sorry 3 root under 3 is equal to root under 3 y we have to find out the value of y but with y what is here root 3 so we have to dividing both side by root 3 so we can write x by root 3 minus 3 root 3 by root 3 is equal to root 3 y by root 3 y to do like this we have to find out value of y so when you remove this we get value of y only now look at here 1 by root under 3 x we can write minus root 3 root 3 cancel what is remaining 3 is equal to y or we can write y is equal to 1 by root under 3 x minus 3 now we have to compare comparing equation 1 this right equation 1 with y is equal to mx plus c so m means slope so what is the value of m here slope is equal to you can see here in the place of m what is here 1 by root 3 so 1 by root 3 here x x now c is equal to what here a y intercept we have to take with sign so c is equal to what is here in the place of c what is here minus 3 here is plus but here is minus so c is equal to we have to take minus 3 so minus 3 is the answer slope is equal to 1 by root 3 and y intercept is equal to minus 3 hope you understand this question number 5 now look at question number 6 question number 6 you can see here find the equation of a state line we have to find out equation of a state line which is passing through the point 2 1 the equation of a state line which is passing from the 2 1 and making an angle 45 degree so value of theta our angle is 45 degree with x axis in positive direction so let's take a start here the what is the value of theta 45 degree first of all we have to find out slope slope m is equal to what is the value of m tan theta so what is the value of theta here tan we can write 45 tan 45 means 1 the value of tan 45 means 1 after that we have to find out equation of a straight line which is passing through 2 1 and having slope is equal to this so we have to use one point formula equation of a straight line is y is equal to y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 we can write this one or another formula also there but uh, use one point formula because here one point and slope is given so y minus what is the value of y1 
x1 y1 y1 is equal to 1 so we have to write 1 is equal to m m is equal to 1 so write m x minus x1 x1 is equal to 2 so write on 2 let's arrange this y minus 1 is equal to x minus 2 take this both terms to the right side so we can write x minus 2 minus y plus 1 is equal to 2 so x minus y minus 2 plus 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 which is required equation of straight line you can see here the value of theta is given here 45 degree with x axis so theta is equal to 45 slow formula we have tan theta tan 45 is equal to 1 on one point given so we have to use one point formula so equation of a straight line is y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 x1 is 2 y1 is 1 so in the place of y1 we have to write 1 in the place of x1 we have to write on 2 and m is equal to slope means what is there 1 and just arrange and solve we get x minus y minus 1 is equal to 0 this one you can write right side also not a problem x minus y is equal to 1 or x minus y minus 1 is equal to 0 hope you understand this question number 6 now look at question number 7 so that the straight line passing through the point 2 root 3 10 and making an angle 60 degree with x axis in opposite direction which is passing through the point 1 by root 3 comma 5 so here two two points are given so for, first of all we have to find out equation of a straight line which one point we have to take this or this definitely we have to take this because here question is so that the straight line passing through the point we have to show before showing line equation of a straight line passing through this point so first of all we have to find out equation of a straight line so let's take a start and we have to find an equation of a straight line where theta is 60 degree and passing through the point 1 by root 3 and 5. So here what is the value of theta? Theta is equal to 60 degree. So what is the value of slope? Slope m is equal to what is the formula? Tan theta. So we can write here tan 60. What is the value of tan 60? Root under 3. So slope is equal to what happened here what is the value of slope what is the value of m root under 3 so now we have to find out equation of a straight line equation of a straight line passing through which one this point we have to take 1 by root 3 5 because here passing through the point this we have to find an equation equation of a straight line passing through this is what is the formula we have to use one point formula y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 y minus what is the value of y1 x1 y1 y1 is 5 so we have to write down 5 m is equal to root under 3 so root under 3 x minus x1 x1 is equal to what is here 1 by root 3 so we have to write 1 by root 3 so y minus 5 is equal to root under 3 taking lcm root under 3 root 3 into x root 3 x minus 1 so 1 okay so root 3 root 3 cancel what is remaining here y minus 5 is equal to root under 3x minus 1 now take both the terms to the right side so what we can write here root 3x minus 1 take both the terms here is positive y so we have to write minus y it is negative 5 so we have to write positive 5 is equal to 0 so first of all we have to write x1 then coefficient of y here we have to write y then minus 1 plus 5 constant number we have to write at last we get plus 4 is equal to 0 which is required equation of a straight line now according to question we have to show that equation of a straight line passing through this or not okay so to show so straight line passing through which point is given 2 root under 3 comma 10 to show that a straight line passing through this put x is equal to 2 root under 3 and y is equal to 10 in the place of x we have to write 2 root 3 and in the place of y we have to write on 10 let's put the value of x and y so what we can write here root 3 in the place of x what we have to put 2 root under 3 2 root 3 minus in the place of y what we have to write 10 plus 4 is equal to 0 if we get both side equal then equation of a straight line passing through this point if we will not get both side equal then we have to write equation of this line is not passing through this given point so root 3 root 3 3 3 into 2 how much happened 6 minus 10 root 3 into root 3 we get 3 3 into 2 6 minus 10 plus 4 is equal to 0 6 plus 4 10 10 minus 10 is equal to 0 and we get 0 is equal to 0 hence 
equation of a straight line passing through which point passing through 2 root under 3 comma 10 we have to show it's proved hope you understand this uh, question number 7 uh, if you understand please hit the like button now look at the question number 8 the equation of a straight line is 3x minus 2y is equal to 6 G equation of a straight line is already given here in number 1 what we have to find find whether the point 0 3 lies on it or not we have to show that 3 0 3 lies on this line or not so in the place of x we have to put 0 and in the place of y we have to write down 3 so let's take a start given equation given equation is 3x minus 2y is equal to 6 same like question number 7 we have to do to show or to check to show whether the point 0 3 lies on given equation or not put x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 3 so in the place of x we have to put 0 in the place of y we have to write down 3 if we get both side equal then 0 3 lies on this straight line otherwise not so in the place of x what we have to write 0 so 3 into 0 minus 2 into in the place of y what we have to write 3 is equal to 6 3 into 0 0 minus 3 to the 6 is equal to 6 we get minus 6 is equal to 6 so you can see here both are not equal so what we have to write 0 3 does not lies on given straight line therefore the point if we get both sides 6 is equal to 6 then we have to write the given point lies on give a straight line otherwise both are not equal so we have to write 0 3 does not lies does not lies on on the given straight line what is the line there 3x minus 2y is equal to 6 hope you understand up to here if both side equal then lies on a straight line if not equal then does not lies so next question what is there find the equation of a straight line having same slope so first of all we have to find out slope of this line and after that uh, passing through the point 0 3 and then we have to find out equation so first of all we have to find out slope again given line or straight line is what is there 3x minus 2y is equal to 6 so first of all we have to find out value of y so 3x minus 6 is equal to 2y 2y we have to take to the right side so we have to write positive 6 we have to take left side so we have to write minus now here is 2y so we have to divide by 2 so 3x by 2 minus 6 by 2 is equal to y 2 3 is a 6 so we can write y is equal to 3 by 2x minus 3 this equation 1 comparing equation 1 with <clears throat> y is equal to 3 by 2 x minus 3 sorry y is equal to mx mx plus c uh, comparing equation with y is equal to mx plus c we get m is equal to what we get here 3 by 2 so 3 by 2 so hence the required equation is hence the a required equation of a straight line is what is the formula y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 okay so y minus what is the value of y1 passing through what is here sorry here 0 3 passing through 0 3 so in the place of x1 what we have to put 0 and in the place of y1 we have to write down 3 so 3 is equal to slope is equal to what is there 3 by 2 so 3 by 2 x minus 0 x minus 0 means 0 just cross multiply what we get here 2 into y 2y minus 2 into 3 6 is equal to 3 into x 3x because x minus 0 means x only 3 into x 3x now we have to take all the terms to the right side so what we can write here 3x minus 2y plus 6 is equal to 0 which is required equation of straight line hope you understand this question number
it if you understand please hit the like button and if you are new on my channel please consider subscribe and do not forget to hit the bell button to get notification of upcoming videos in the third part um, we will solve from question number 9 to 12 so thanks for watching till last please share with your friends thank you